Hello and welcome to the new video where I am showing you how you can create this finance dashboard. So something which I will show you in a quick and easy way to which will help you understand as to how you can create it and a couple of things about this dashboard. So this is a very easy and simple looking layout as you can see which is visually appealing because of the effective use of the icons and the consistent colors which is going on over here. Now this dashboard I found it on one of the websites let me take you over there. So this is the website where I found it so usually for inspiration I go to Pinterest as you can see it over here right a lot of inspiration comes from here and then when I found this dashboard the finance dashboard uh, it you know took my attention and I thought how I can create it. So something you know they have created within the Power BI as you can see uh, this is a Power BI template for finance dashboard but I thought let me show you how you can create the same within the power uh, within the tableau. So you can click create in tableau or in Power BI whole idea is if I have a design something like uh, this or any other design which probably in future video I will keep showing you. This is where I go for my inspiration and I just thought how uh, I, I thought let's show you how you can create it. Now this is something I am showing you over here but there is a lot of improvement that you can do plus you know there are a lot of advanced dashboard that I cover in my training especially you know these icons how you can place this so that all of this will start looking uh, in a way which is more professional and visually appealing right. Uh, on top of that like in this dashboard you can select a year and filter the dashboard for example if I uncheck everything you know my layout doesn't change but all my values are gone but I can select 2021 or 2020 together right or 2019 2018 right all the years worth of data. Now another uh, thing that can be done which I show in my live trainings right is about how this revenue is compared to the previous period. Now the previous period can be the previous week previous month is it going up or down because once you have the value like revenue profit orders customers right are are these customer increasing or decreasing compared to the last year same period. Okay. So these are the things which I cover also things like uh, you have filters like these filters right where you can choose year and quarter but in my training if I give you uh, a scenario I cover scenarios like how you can create custom filters like this which act more like a button right. So these type of things if you are interested in learning little bit more in depth with a better understanding of how all of this can be structured then you can come and join my training but uh, if you are a beginner if you want to learn how you can create similar type of dashboard then you can continue over here and uh, with that what we are doing is we are creating these KPIs over here so if you see this is a revenue so over here only the number that is present but anything which is an icon if you see is a separate image right. So what we are doing is we are creating a revenue and as you can see we are taking sales and dragging it over the text. So what you will going to get is this 2.2 uh, million of sales right and then year of order date is something we have put it but we are not filtering anything. So if I go over here it's basically everything that we are showing right. So simply you need to do what you need to bring order date to over here and when it is asking you what do you want to show year quarter month choose the year right. So what you get is a value like this and then we are getting a revenue here at the top. So for that what you do is you come over here in text and choose revenue which will give you the revenue as of as a static text and sum of sales is the formula which it has by default picked up and then some formatting like tableau regular 8 size tableau regular 12 size will going to give you that. So this is what in a quick 5 minutes probably you will going to create the revenue KPI similarly you have profit you will bring down the profit here from text and you will add it profit on top of that you have orders 
right so what you bring is the order id but make sure it is count distinct c and t d this is where you need to make sure and you can choose from here measure count distinct uh, which will give you uh, if it is by default picking up the sum then it will pick the count distinct now after that you have the customers again the distinct count when you bring the customer name let's say on text it will count but change it from count to count D, distinct count. Similarly for quantity, it will be sum. Bring it over here and add the quantity over here. So what you will going to get is these five numbers that we are creating, right? Then we have this chart, which is a revenue performance chart over here. So if you see what is going on over here is the dual axis chart, right? The dual axis is because we have to show this line that is coming on top and then the area chart which is the area over here below this line right once you have created this dual axis so what you do is you bring these two pills which is same one for line one for area and then you simply do the dual axis since i have already done the dual axis that's why it is so over here if you see dual axis is something which you need to check to that will give you the layout like this but make sure you synchronize the axis so you right click and you make sure you synchronize the axis so that both the axis for line and area will going to give you the output. So this is a revenue performance. Make sure the title looks like this. If I want to show you over here, tableau bold 12, right? So this is a tableau, uh, this is the formatting for the chart. Same formatting we will going to do. So you duplicate this to the region performance, right? And in the region performance, you need to bring regions over here, which is nothing but the region. That field, you can find it over here. If I say R-E-G-I-O-N, region, region is here, right? And that you can find it like this. Also, uh, we once you have created this sub-region, you need to put the category on the color. So you have the product category over here bring it on the color you have these colors that you can choose you double click over here you can choose the colors you know from these options which is present over here and create this chart based on technology is red office supply is purple furniture is blue okay then you have what subcategory ranking so you have subcategories over here you have the respective categories so for example within technology you have accessories Within technology, you have copiers, right? So on and so forth. But what is the quantity, right? And then what is the sales? This is the chart which is going on over here. Very, very straightforward. Uh, however, the way you configure this is you have subcategory, you have category over here. You put the measure names. As soon as you put the measure names, lot of measure will come. But make sure in the filter, you only select quantity and sales, right? And that will going to help you basically create the uh, the chart like this. Okay. And uh, finally, I think what I'm creating is the revenue versus uh, what is the revenue versus what is the profit. So in total, you have 89% of uh, revenue uh, out of 100% and in that 11% is profit. So the way we are doing that is by using this formula if you see if I double click over here um, if it helps so this is a direct formula which is basically saying sum of sales divided by sum of sales plus sum of profit similarly for profit it is sum of profit divided by sum of sales plus sum of profit so that's the way we are getting this 11% and 89% right and then we are creating this bar chart if you see over here that is giving you full 100% stack bar chart that we can use it over here. Now coming over here is a tricky part because if you see there is a lot going on into this and that's where you need to master the, uh, the containers, right? And I will explain you how you need to do that. But in my class, I go very much in depth and uh, talk about how like a professional you need to read the layout or work on a layout if you have something like a wireframe or something right so that is something which i uh, 
go a lot of in depth when I have my live sessions that that is something specific to creating the uh, char the dashboards which is as complex as it can be but you will be able to create it so first thing first is the way you know you have the layout you have this first section which is showing you this horizontal container because it is side by side so you have the image that you need to br first bring the container then you have the image which is this object you need to bring it over here you have the finance which is a text object that you bring over here and then here will come from any of this uh, kpi or chart you go down to this uh, filters and year of order date right then down below over here is one more uh, horizontal uh, container as you can see is the side by side so within the main horizontal container you have these small containers if you see this one container in which you have image and you have the kpi number so make sure this is how you are doing it you have the main container and you have the second container in which for each of the kpi this is first container second container third horizontal fourth horizontal and fifth horizontal container right and then down below what you have is after that one more horizontal container as you can see side by side from here which shows you the revenue performance chart and the region performance right and then finally one more horizontal container which gives you the uh, information about subcategory ranking and performance ratio so all of this as you can see one below the another uh, containers so that basically shows the vertical layout and then in in that you have the um, that you have the horizontal container to put the information side by side once you have everything make sure uh, from any of this uh, from any of this chart you bring in the filter which is year of order sales that is present over here right and there you can make sure that you are choosing apply to worksheet all using this data source right is something you can choose also for this particular chart you have the quarters chart like q1 q2 q3 and q4 right that is also something you can choose it uh, if it is specific to the chart make sure that that chart is selected right let me just select it over here go to the filters and quarter of order date is what it is coming over here that you can select right and once you have everything put in place right you need to make sure you are going into the layout and doing the outer padding and inner padding as needed as you can see for this chart or for this one eight for this one eight 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 and eight for this one this is my outer padding configuration for this one my outer padding configuration is this which you can pause and you know do it while you are creating your own and over here this is my outer padding configuration and this one is my outer padding so outer padding creates the space right so that information or component aligns with each other so that's the one i wanted to show you as to how you can create it in the dashboard uh, as a dashboard as a portfolio dashboard for you and uh, then you know show it to your prospective employer or uh, you know if you want to recreate it if you need a template it's present there below in in the description uh, in the description the link is present in the description from where you can go and download the template with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic